So you're scrolling down your feed and you see a video like this. <gasps> and of course you watch it because you want to know if something scary is hiding in your Reese's Puffs. What do you do next? The answer, never ask for recommendations. Let's take a step back. We discussed in a previous video why fear-based marketing works so well. This person grabs your attention by telling you a fact that you don't know. And they reel us in by appealing to our fear. Our fear of disease, aging, and mortality. They proceed to tell us these facts that we've never heard, which establishes them as an expert. Even though these facts may not be research or science-based, we don't care. Because the fact that they're new and we haven't heard them makes us feel like they're privy to information that we're not. AKA, they know something we don't know. I need to follow them because if I don't follow them, I'm going to be missing out on something. The next logical step in people's minds is to ask this question. If I can't eat Reese's Puffs, what do I eat instead? You guys, this is what I don't want you to do. And I'll tell you why. This person is then going to go on and make another video telling you about the products you should eat. So you're giving them fodder for more video content, a way to spread out their platform, get more views, get more followers, and get more reach. And if they have brand deals, sponsorships, affiliations, this is also a great way for them to plug their products. Buy my grass-fed, free-range, calorie-free, carb-free keto cereal that's 10 times more expensive that you can only buy on this one website. But the cereal is perfectly safe and it has no toxic ingredients and it's not going to give you cancer, so you should buy it. And at this point, some of the viewers are actually so scared, they're going to do it. These purchases get the creator revenue. And then if they're crafty, they can also sneak in, I also sell this cereal in my own small business store and look at all of the other clean, low-tox products I sell too. And then neglect to mention that these products aren't better and they're usually significantly more expensive. I am all for people having their own business. I think shopping local is great. But these people use fear-based tactics to manipulate your emotions and capitalize off of health misinformation to scare you away from perfectly safe, healthy food products. And this is just foul behavior. And these are things I can't get behind. So if you see one of these videos, what do you do instead? For starters, don't ask this question. And actually don't interact at all. Click the not interested button. Click the unfollow button. This can push the algorithm in a different direction. Remember that fear stimulates cortisol and this is not something you need in your life. If you feel the need to comment, remember that commenting tells the algorithm that you are interested. It's a double-edged sword. And if you ask for citations, ask specifically which human studies and which meta-analyses support their point. I hope you learned something and I hope this helps.